we're gonna get right down to business and we're gonna start with Dollar Tree, the obvious price increase, right? Last year, at this time of year, the Dollar Trees in my area were still only at a dollar. The price increase went in effect at the beginning of this year. So last year, I purchased my aluminum pans from there for a dollar and this year I had to pay a dollar 25. Now, if you look at a dollar to a dollar 25, that's 25 cents, right? It seems doable, but actual fact is that 25 cents is a 25 percent increase in cost and that is a significant increase. Besides the Dollar Tree, I shopped at a few other stores targeting each one's lowest prices. Let's take a look at what I bought, what it cost, and did I manage to get it for Thanksgiving pass prices or did I have to pay current Thanksgiving inflation costs? So we got all around the table. We also got all that over there, but we will start here. So this came almost like a like a farmer's market stand type of thing. So I got some oranges, radishes, onions, three bags of carrots. I don't need all those carrots, but carrots last a long time and it was a dollar a bag. And I think it's, yeah, it's three pound bags. So a dollar a piece, like it's a no brainer. And then I got my Charisse for my Thanksgiving dinner, two mild, three hot. This is a six pack, but <laughs> we ate the other two in the car. Those are so good. They're basically like a Portuguese version of English muffins, but they're sweet. They also go by Portuguese pancakes, which is where the sweet comes in. And then I just got a bunch of these for lunches. That one, those, and those, and I got six of each. So this was like a mom and pop store. And now we're moving on to all day. I needed some wax paper. Eight cans of cream style corn. 10 cans of the cream of chicken and eight cans of the cream of mushroom a loaf of italian bread and then stuffing this isn't for thanksgiving but it was at a really good deal so throughout the year i do use these so there's two turkey and four chicken and i'm not sure if i said the price but they were a good deal at 75 cents each also got ciabatta bread, one for now and one to freeze. Those were $2.95 a bag, so not that bad. 10 pound bag of potatoes, $3.89. Bananas, 30 cents a pound. I haven't seen bananas 30 cents a pound in forever. This was a really good deal. A two pack for a dollar ninety five. Another great deal was their version of Cool Whip, sixty nine cents for the eight ounces. So grabbed four of those. Okay, that was all day. Now we're moving on to Walmart. Walmart. If you have Mountain Dew lovers in your life or you're a Mountain Dew drinker. Here's the Christmas one, Fruit Quake. That is so cute. And I got two uh, packs of waters from them. And then we got some of the Little Debbie uh, Christmas, tree Christmas tree cake ice cream. Kind of stocked up, we got three of them. And these were like decently priced. So I kind of, I stocked up on, I bought these before and they are very well liked so i got four of the reese's and i got three of the rollos i got my whipping cream for my thanksgiving desserts 
I grabbed it at Walmart because I knew it would be um, cheaper than the regular grocery store that I went to and all day only had the bigger size and I didn't need all that so I got that at Walmart this is also for the Thanksgiving desserts this is for the Thanksgiving desserts and then I have all of this stuff that really doesn't have anything to do with Thanksgiving but this is stuff I use throughout the year and at those prices I wanted to go ahead and stock up on that and then again I figured this would be cheaper at Walmart than the grocery store so nothing to do with Thanksgiving they have their Christmas ones out um, but I love salted caramel so I grabbed it and I mean that topper is so freaking cute salted caramel a flavored hot cocoa topper little marshmallows in there some jimmies and here's a close-up of that topper too cute I got two of these so one for now one for later and what I've realized that a lot of stores don't carry the sticks it was, it's been hard for me to find and that has nothing to do with Thanksgiving these have nothing to do with Thanksgiving but I figured for another time, couldn't pass that up. Pumpkin pie spice nut pie crust. Oh my gosh. And then, oh, there goes the sticks. Some planters, a festive, fancy full, so cute. Cocoa almonds, oh my gosh, those are so good. And then, we've never had these before. Butter, cinnamon, pecans, and these were like $4.88 each. My goodness, all right. Nothing to do with Thanksgiving, but I just wanted to have one in the house and they're carrying these for $2.10 right now. I'll pick that up. We use a lot of this. So I kinda stocked up a little. Got three of those. And <laughs> I've been buying the pumpkin ones, but they have now traded in the pumpkin ones for the Christmas tree ones. So I guess we're gonna have Thanksgiving with Christmas tree cookies in our cookie jar. This is for my desserts. Oh, okay, that's it for Walmart. So we're moving on to the next store. Now, on the next store, we'll start here. I shopped there because if you spent $25, you were able to purchase your turkey at 49 cents a pound. So that's my big turkey and from there I got some Joseph's original pita bread pockets. I make work breakfasts with those. Their Keebler cookies were on sale two for five. So I grabbed a cashew and a pecan. For tonight we are having shrimbolis for dinner. So I picked up the dough and we're gonna have pepperoni shrimbolis and then I picked up of steak from there um, this store is like one of my favorite stores to buy meat and then out of all the stores I shopped at minus Dollar Tree because obviously we know it's a dollar 25 they were actually the cheapest uh, for a can of evaporated milk a dollar 25 same price at Dollar Tree but since I had to spend the 25 I grabbed it there I think that was it for all yeah and then these we grabbed four uh, Mountain Dews, they were buy two, get two free. So we got two Code Red and two Major Melon, and they did not have that one there. And we went to Walmart first, so it worked out where we ended up picking it there because we wouldn't have found it here. And then my very last stop was Walgreens, and nothing to do with Thanksgiving, but it was just in the shopping trip, and I also had... Um, digital coupon that if I spent $20, I got $5 back in rewards. So uh, I like their toilet paper and it's just like the Angel Soft. And now Angel Soft got really expensive. So I've resorted to buying their brand. So stocked up with that. Got three of those. And then when I do hot coffee at home, 
I actually use instant and not the Keurig. And this is my all-time favorite coffee besides my New England coffee that I use for the Keurig. And I love that they provide caffeine-free because I'd rather have caffeine-free coffee. So this was on sale for $7.99. So I needed coffee and I also grabbed some potassium vitamins. So the mister has opened one up and he approves. I <laughs> can't stand Mountain Dew, but I always try the new ones, a little sip and still can't get me to drink it, but I must say it's decent, but I can still detect the Mountain Dew and I'm good. But I mean, look at the can. That's adorable. Look at that. So cute. If you are hurting, may healing find you quickly. If you are facing health issues, may you overcome them rapidly. If you feel alone, may comfort find you. And if life is good, may it get even better in this Thanksgiving season.